Hello and welcome to Inside EVs. You join me here in New York City at the Manhattan Classic Car Club where we are taking a look at the Lucid Air. And this is the first time the Air has been shown in Grand Touring trim and in this particular example in Zenith Red. Today in this video, we're gonna take you on a full tour interior and exterior of the Air and of course, talk about some of the technical details. Let's get into it. This is the Lucid Air Grand Touring. This particular one has the 113 kilowatt hour battery pack with over 517 miles of EPA estimated range. The price tag, a cool $139,000 before federal incentives. However, you're actually getting quite a lot of value for that $139,000. You see, Lucid's taking a totally different approach to building EVs than almost anyone. Uh, Tesla has done some of this, but this car is built from efficiency from the ground up. Everything works together harmoniously from a technical perspective. It allows this car to get almost 4.5 miles per kilowatt hour, which is just insane, especially coming from an executive sedan, something of this size. And all of the components work together to help the air work around, and I mean literally the outside air is not the lucid air, uh, manage around the outside of the air to allow for the most amount of efficiency and range while cruising at highway speeds. So let's take a walk around the lucid air and we're gonna start back here at the trunk and later on I'll show you inside of the trunk that you can see it's this giant clamshell design. It lifts up, it is not a hatchback, and you have the widest rear tail light fitted to any vehicle on the market. I think that's pretty cool. Has a really nice 3D effect on the inside as well you can see the lucid lettering here on the back as a nice touch so you know exactly what you're looking at when you're walking around come with me to the side of the car you'll see this accented brushed aluminum style uh, you know sort of uh, silver piece around the car accenting the roof from the body lines it has a entirely glass canopy on the roof that is optional on some of the lower trims such as the air and the air touring. We'll get to the trims in a little bit, but you can see this front piece of glass is massive. It starts all the way down here with the windshield and ends all the way above passenger, you know, front passenger head. So one solid piece of glass, very much Model X vibes that I'm getting here for sure. Uh, come around to the front of the car where you will see this beautiful headlight array. Now these headlights are supposed to be some of the brightest and most precise light outputs of any vehicle. It's very cool. This car also has a really cool feature where I was talking about air management before, where there are slots above the headlights here to remove uh, air from this high pressure area uh, that the air passes over uh, cooling ducts for the LED units for the headlights, and then it moves around the outside of the car. Just a nice little touch to add to the efficiency. Um, and that is the quick tour. You know, this is a luxury executive sedan. It's supposed to get you to your destination quietly, comfortably, and of course, you're going to make it there with this much range. Range anxiety is not a thing with 517 miles of range. You're going to have range confidence. And in this car, you can pretty much drive anywhere you want with very little thinking about it. It's just very cool. Um, now that I've shown you the exterior, let's jump on the inside. We'll take a tour of the inside, see what it's like. Do I fit in the car? How comfortable is it? And then we'll talk about some of the technical details and we have some cool things to show you on the other side of the room here. I'm gonna try out the back seat of the Air Grand Touring. And here I go. Well, the biggest thing I'm noticing, again, this is my first time sitting in the back seat of the Air, is just how low the floor is. I rode over here in another electric vehicle and my knees were kind of in my face because the battery pack was so high. I can feel a really nice cutout in the floor where my feet can sit low. The other thing I'm noticing is this is the base or I should say the standard uh, rear seat, this is what will come at launch. Later on, there will be an executive version of the rear seat that will allow you to recline, and I actually was able to try that out at their California headquarters in Newark, and wow, was that comfortable. But this is the option most people will get. Seats fold down, of course, really nice, and it smells pretty good in here too. That's interesting. I wonder if all Lucids will smell this nice. Let's go over to the driver's seat and see how that looks. All right, let's have a seat in the driver's seat of the Lucid Air. My first time sitting in the driver's seat. 
off. Well, first off, look at this windshield. It's insane. It comes all the way up above my head. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see this steering wheel has really cool, you know, twist bars right here. Very nice. And the steering wheel seems great. Seat feels comfortable. Pedals look nice. Tons of leg room here, uh, side to side. Just a great place to spend time. I think I am very pleased. I mean, who couldn't like this? It's a luxury sedan. There's a, not much that could be bad here, and there's not much that is bad, at least at first glance. The 2021 Lucid Air seems to tick all the right boxes. It has the most amount of range of any EV, over 300 kilowatts of DC fast charging power with a 900 volt plus system architecture. And while that battery is big at 113 kilowatt hours, the car is so efficient at over 4.5 miles per kilowatt hour that it leads to a 517 mile projected EPA range. The Lucid Air will come in more drivetrains that are not yet released, such as a tri-motor version. You're looking at the back end of this car right now. This is two electric motors on the rear axle, one on the front. This is gonna be really exciting, and it'll have more than the 1,080 horsepower of the Dream Edition, which is the white car here on the screen. If you haven't had a chance to learn about the Lucid Air's technical details, head over to InsideEVs.com where we have a full article on everything you need to know about the Lucid Air, and we go very in-depth onto the technical nitty-gritty of this amazing car. Well, we've taken you on a tour of the Lucid Air, a lot of it with background images and video, but I really appreciate you tuning in. We will certainly have more with this car. I cannot wait to get it in our hands to put it through our 70 mile per hour range test, which is world famous now, and our DC charging test from zero to 100%. How long will it hold its charge rate above 300 kilowatt? There's only one way to find out, and we're gonna do it as soon as we can. Thanks for tuning in. If you wanna see all of those tests and many more across every electric vehicle, subscribe to our channel right here down below on this video, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.